is Geshner. I'm Kilo One. I'm from Region 2 representing Abramsville Secondary School. The name of our project is CO2 Moscow. Now, what we are doing is that we are collecting carbon dioxide and producing dry ice from it. So, the way our project works is that whenever companies like GPL, rice mills, sawmills, they burn fossil fuel. It releases carbon into the air. So instead of letting that pollute the air, we're capturing it directly from the factories. So this fan is inverted inward so it can pull the air up. Now there's a filter in here so it can filter out all the dust and the impurities because we just need clean carbon dioxide. The clean carbon dioxide moves through these delivery tubes into this compression tank. We all know that carbon dioxide is a gas. So it gets compressed at 6,900 kilopascal to move from a gas to a liquid state. Now, the liquid carbon dioxide is taken into this cooling chamber where it's at negative 109 Fahrenheit. So this is where the air becomes frozen. The frozen CO2 is taken into the separator where it's packed at a high density and that's how we get our dry ice. Now, let's say that we produce a large amount of carbon dioxide. We capture a large amount of carbon dioxide, sorry. This here, we don't want this to pile up, we don't want it to burst, we don't want to block it. So we'll open this valve and release this into here so we can sell this to fire extinguisher companies. Basically, we are educating our children, youths, how we can reduce pollution and create something. Remember when this carbon is burned? the factories don't want it so it's basically it's like it's a waste product so we're converting a waste product into something useful that they can make profits off of